This lesson will lead you through the basics of loading and executing macros. To open the macro dialog, simply click on Tools, and then click on the Macro Utility, and that will bring up the macro dialog. In the macro dialog, simply click on Macro and Open Macro Collection. Then choose the macro collection that you want. Normally, one is supplied with your system. And that's about it. You can simply click the play button to play back the macro. As you can see here, macro 1 is selected by default after you've loaded a new macro collection, but there are other macros from which you can choose. So, a macro collection, as the term implies, usually consists of several different macros. Macros, by the way, are also known as analysis scripts. There's no practical limit to how many macros you can have in a macro collection. To see what macros are present and see what they do, simply click on the View menu. That will bring up a list of all the various macros with descriptions of exactly what each one does. For example, Macro 1 does basic metabolic transformations. To choose a particular macro, simply double-click on that macro's entry. To look at the actual text of a macro, if that interests you, you can click on the notepad or notebook icon, and here is the text of macro 1. It's fully editable. I'm not going to go through the details here, though, as you can see, every single step in all calculations, such as the calculation of metabolic rate, water vapor dilution, and so on, is shown in considerable detail so that you can thoroughly enjoy completely traceable data. There is nothing black box here at all, no secrets. In order to run a macro, we simply select it and click on the playback button. The macro then begins to run. This ends this introductory lesson. In the next lesson, lesson I will show you how to take the transformed data and condense it into spreadsheet form.